Hi, everyone. My name is Dr. Caroline Grady. I'm a physical therapist at Cornerstone Physical Therapy. Uh, today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about balance, some of the different components that make up balance, and what are some things that we can do to test um, whether those components might be playing a role in um, any difficulty that you're having with balance. So um, when we talk about balance, we can talk about different kinds of balance. There's static balance as well as dynamic balance. And both of these are important to allow us to do the things we need to do, whether that's standing, walking, getting up from the ground, getting up from a chair, getting in and out of your car, all requires balance to be able to do those things safely. Um, static balance is going to be considered things that you're doing when you're staying in one position, when you're staying still. So that looks like standing up, um, waiting in line at a grocery store. Can you maintain your balance while standing? Um, similar, can you do the same thing while sitting at the edge of your bed or, or in a chair that doesn't have a back? Those components are going to be static balance. When you look at dynamic balance, that also is can you maintain your balance and contain and maintain your control when you're doing things like walking, uh, marching, uh, getting up from the ground, getting up from, let's say you're doing some gardening and working in the yard and you're bending down and kneeling. Can you get up and maintain your balance during those motions? So those are going to be, that's going to be the two different components of balance, more of the static balance versus the dynamic balance. I think um, the important thing to keep in mind with balance is just like you can strengthen a muscle, just like you can um, do different exercises to help improve muscle strength and control, you can also do exercises to help improve your balance, to help you feel safer when you're moving around your home, when you're moving out in, in the community or walking in the yard. Okay, so some static balance exercises are going to include things like standing um, with your feet kind of all the way together. You can also try standing on one leg um, or kind of one foot in front of the other. We call that tandem stance. So if you're standing with one foot in front of the other, your base of support's a little narrower. So it's going to be more challenging. All right. So those are some examples of them, some things you can do to work on static balance. It, to make that even harder, you can do it on an uneven surface or something that's going to be a little softer. Um, sometimes in the clinic, we'll use things like a you know, pillow or there's little like foam pads. But at home, that also might mean trying to do the same thing while standing in the grass or in, you know, the garden when you're in mulch. Those are going to be those unstable surfaces that aren't quite as solid and just require a little more challenge to that system. In terms of dynamic balance, working on some of those exercises are going to be things like um, standing in place and marching, as well as um, walking sideways, walking backwards, um, walking you know, taking bigger steps, taking intentional longer steps, um, as well as doing those on different surfaces. Again, walking in the garden, walking in your yard, going hiking, especially around here with lots of roots and uneven surfaces, that's going to challenge your dynamic balance even more. Um, with physical therapy, there's a lot of different things that we can do to help um, test those different systems to determine which one might be limiting your balance more, and then what exercises you can work on both in the clinic here, but also at home in a safe environment to make sure that you're not at risk for falling and getting hurt when you're trying to work on your balance. So um, if you do have any questions, please leave any uh, questions in the comment section uh, below, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, if you're struggling with balance, if there's an issue that you're having, uh, I think physical therapy can be a good option to determine what is the cause of that balance issue and where can we start to help improve it. All right. Thank you for your time today. Have a good day.